الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه شهد ولا إله إلا الله حد ولا شريك له وشهد أن محمد عبده ورسول ما بعد. We started last week the manners of traveling. طيب I continue إن شاء الله today. One of the manners of traveling to choose a good company with you, good friends to join you in this in the safar and the traveling. And this is not only for traveling. Generally speaking, even if you are in your country. You have to choose good friends because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the good friends, they are like the, the shop of perfume, okay? Maybe you go and you buy from this perfume or if you go inside the shop, they, you'll get nice smell they put for your beard, for your clothes. If you do not go inside, you'll find nice smell from this shop. So this is the good friends, always useful, subhanAllah. And in the safar and traveling, of course, you need it will be clear. If you remember, we mentioned that what is meaning of safar? Safar, you you will discover people. So you need to know uh, to uh, to choose good uh, friends with you in the safar. Next point, there is something called imara to safar, the leadership and the in the traveling. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if three people travel. Okay, they should choose one of them as a leader, as an Amir. As an Amir. Yeah, subhanAllah, this is very important. It's very important. Yeah, and we are traveling. Okay, let's say we are uh, five people in a car. We'll go to Umrah. Okay, we need to drive maybe 20 hours. Okay, or, yeah, and it depends. Yeah, and you are driving fast or slow. Yeah, and if you are Driving fast, maybe you need 17, 16 hours, something like this. But no doubt, you will not drive okay, the, uh, continuously. You will take rest, you take dinner. Uh, you fill the fuel for your car, benzene. For these stops, who should decide? Imagine if we are five people, usually we will not agree. Maybe I, yani, if we are five people, we say, uh, okay, we'll take breakfast, then we'll start. Maybe one, uh, one of us will say, no, we should take breakfast there in Saudi. The other one, no, we should take the breakfast when we stop. There is a Burger King, the way we take breakfast, breakfast for, for a Burger King. Is it okay? <laughs> so you'll differ. طيب, uh, this is about the breakfast. Okay. Now, if we agree, خلاص, we will take breakfast there in Saudi. What kind of breakfast? You say parata. I say no. Uh, I want chapati. I want fatayr. I want fool. <laughs> huh? It's, we start to fight. Okay, so subhanAllah, the, the, the wisdom, inshallah, is clear from the hadith. The Prophet said, if you are a you should choose a, a, an Amir, a leader. And he should not be the, uh, the eldest one. Okay, yani we choose a leader. Yani, yani for, exam, for example, uh, we, we, are, uh, uh, we are five. And the youngest one, he went to Umrah maybe 20 times driving by car. And he knows where to stop and where are the restaurants, the chabati, the barat, and he knows everything. The other four, new Muslims. <laughs> and all of them are older than him. Okay, so logically, he should be the Amir. He should be the Amir. Don't say, well, I am the older one, or uh, I am a doctor in the uh, college, or I am your father, or. It is يعني, with the one who has knowledge in, uh, and experience in traveling. Uh, so we should choose with the one who is suitable for this job, the leadership in traveling. Uh, Abu Hamid al-Ghazali said, one of the scholars, okay, he has nice uh, يعني, books uh, uh, and the scholars use his sayings in the manners, but not in the aqeedah, not in the aqeedah. 
He said they should choose the best among them and the manners and the one who is easy, okay? And the one uh, who, uh, يعني, uh, who has ethar, ethar who, it means who compromises his rights for the others. طيب. Okay, this Amir, okay, we are traveling. So, يعني, for example, we take a bus. Then for 25 people, for example, for 50 people, okay, and all of us will go. خلاص. Now you choose me as an Amir. So I am your Amir. طيب. I am your Amir where? In a traveling. But not in Kuwait, in Kuwait, خلاص. <laughs> I am miskin, like you. صح? You are not Amir, and also I am not Amir. Because if you say that, well, Sheikh Ahmed is our Amir, خلاص, they will put me in the jail. تعال, and they question me, تعال. Are you Amir? Are you from royal family, or what is happening? خلاص, you'll not see me again in the حلقة. No, Amir, it means only in traveling, when we start the tra- traveling. Okay. Sheikh uh, Ma'athameen said, Rahimullah, they have to obey the Amir, the leader, in the things related to the traveling. And the things, uh, uh, and ab- he said, about the things that not related to suffer, something personal. Okay, they should not obey him. يعني, يعني, يعني for example, okay, and in the traveling, we are in the car. Okay, and the leader doesn't like iPhone, and I'm using the iPhone. Say, why you are you using the iPhone? I am the Amir, don't use the iPhone. You have to sell the iPhone and you buy Android <laughs> mobile. Okay, why you said, because I am your Amir, I'm your leader, you have to obey me. Is it accept? Huh? Habibi, this is uh, <laughs> different leadership. Your wife. <laughs> she said, خلاص, iPhone, iPhone. <laughs> you are traveling with your wife. Always you are traveling. <laughs> and she, always she is the Emir. <laughs> so about the personal things, he's not, uh, we should not obey him. We obey the leader about where to stop what kind of food we should buy, okay, in which hotel we should live, how many days we stayed in Mecca, how many days we stay in Medina, طيب. and and also when we say he is Amir, it doesn't mean that he should give orders and we obey. No, yeah, and for example, we are discussing and we there are different opinions. He خلاص, he should take the opinions. He should take the decisions. Well, I, we are uh, five people or ten people, we should stay in Mecca three days. Some of us said, no, five days. Some of us, no, one day only, and the other days in Medina. Okay? So this is the job of the Amir, the leader. So about the personal thing, we should not obey him. We should not obey him. We obey him according to the, uh, what are related to the traveling. Next point, before you travel, write your will. Write your wasiyah. Okay, يعني, for example, you took a loan from a man and it's not written. You should write this. يعني, there are, if there is certain, not, يعني, not only if you are traveling, the Prophet mentioned every three, three days or two days, that, write your will. Huh? Two days, the hadith? Hey, uh, I forgot exactly the hadith, Laylatain, I think. It is uh, uh, one of the duty of the Muslim that he should not sleep two nights without writing his will. Okay, they say it is a compulsory if there are uh, rights, you took something from people. Yeah, for example, I took a loan from a man, 100 KD, and there are no witnesses and no paper. No, you should write a paper. Maybe you die and people don't know. And this will be يعني, more obvious in the traveling. You are not in your country, you are traveling. So write your wasiya before uh, traveling. يعني, there is no specific hadith that you write your wasiya 
you write your will before traveling, but as a general meaning, as a general meaning. Uh, also, one of the manners of traveling, I don't know if it is related to you or not, if you have more than one wife, okay? And all of them want to travel with you. For example, I, for example, for example, I have four wives. Tayyib, mashallah. Mabrook? How many walima? Four walima? Huh? Shuf, if you marry together, all of them together, one walima, inshallah, is enough. Huh? What is allowed? To marry four together? <laughs> there is no time for walima. <laughs> Okay, for example, I have four wives, and I am going now, uh, where? Chennai? <laughs> where? Khalas, <laughs> UK, UK now. Khalas. You are now India chase or UK chase? UK. India, Makwaida. No, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. So I am traveling. If I'm going to India, none of them will join me, صح? خلاص يلا قوم مع السلامة go your your handy friends but if I'm going to UK they will fight صح especially in summer they will fight everyone wants to travel with me so what you can do now huh جلال ماجن you have four you <laughs> too <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Prophet وسلم, used to make qur'a, to make lot huh? among the, the wives. Then he will take this wife with him. This is if they if they if all of them want to travel. Yeah, yeah, for example, for example, I have four wives. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you laughing, huh? I go inshallah. <laughs> If I say inshallah, you say inshallah? Tayyib, <laughs> inshallah. Inshallah, four wives in the paradise, huh? Tayyib. <laughs> if we have, uh, if. <laughs> yes, wallah, afraid because, shuf, three cameras in front of me. They don't know who are you. Tayyib. <laughs> and say, uh, and three of them not interested. Well, you are going to India, we don't like to join you. And the fourth one said, yeah, let's see India. Maybe you can bring some biryani, something from there, صح? So do I need to do the Qur'an, the lot? No need. Okay? But if all of them, or some of them, we, can, we should do the lot for them. Why? Because you have to be just with your wives. طيب. يعني the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث البخاري المسلم كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا أراد سفرا أقرع بين أزواجه if the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم wants to travel he will do قرعة among his his wives فأيهن خرج سهمها خرج بها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم okay and any name comes خلاص he will take this name this wife with him If you can, okay, do. If it is difficult, يعني how you can do this? He's going for jihad here. Salah alayhi wasallam. طيب, how can you enjoy your travel with all of them? والله, I don't know. He did not mention this. But I cannot imagine this. I am going to UK and I take the four wives. How can I enjoy there? How can I do shopping? Huh? This is impossible. Why are silent? <laughs> How it is impossible? <laughs> if you marry, خلاص, ask these questions. <laughs> you have one wife, don't ask. <laughs> Making troubles on you. <laughs> so, huh? 
Yes. <laughs> Why big problem? All of them your wives. Why it is big problem? If you hate this wife, divorce this wife. Huh? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> طيب should uh, yes this is a question this is a question يعني the scholars say should should I uh, يعني okay uh, last year I traveled with this wife after doing Quran after doing the lot okay now I'm traveling should I include her name with them or not okay some scholars said yes you should add if uh, if the name comes every time خلاص <laughs> and this is their nasib her nasib okay other scholars said no خلاص يعني if you did one time if she went with you, خلاص, next time you should remove the, her name and you do the Qur'a with the other three. No, the Allah alam, because uh, the hadith, the Prophet uh, Aisha said, if he wants to travel, he will do Qur'a among his wives. Yani, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala did not mention that and the one who went last time, she will not be in the Qur'a next time. She did not mention this. So Allah Alam, maybe yani from the hadith he will do he will repeat the same for all of them. No, not always. Not always. No, not always. It's not always. Not always. I should not say always I I, I was with him. No. All the other. Yes, only those who, who want to go. But if, if, if they are not interested in traveling, you should not put their name. Yani. What is the use if you put the name? Yani, it, also, it is not compulsory to travel with the husband if he has more than one wife. So the point here, the point here is to show, to show the justice of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The point here is to, yani, even in, and where, where she is going, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, yani, in, in ghazwa, in fighting, jihad, they are not going to, for shopping or for uh, pre-mark, huh? do you know pre-mark? Alhamdulillah, don't know pre-mark, no, not, London, and then, hey, uh, so no, 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 the point, the point here, يعني, Subhanallah, you should be justice, okay? And also, يعني, خلاص, okay, uh, four wives, one, two, three, four, different kinds of wives, huh? Water, glasses, tissue box, <laughs> these are the wives, they are different, they are not the same. خلاص, this wife will be with me in traveling. It doesn't mean that I'm not responsible about the other wives. Yeah, and you have to keep some, you have to keep enough money for them. It doesn't mean khalas, wallahi, she will join me and the whole money I will give to this wife for shopping and to enjoy for restaurants. And what about the other khalas? Yeah, you, you should. Huh? What you are talking about? We are talking about Qur'a. Qur'a, lot. Yes. Khalas, and if you have one wife, please don't ask, don't talk. Khalas. They are talking a lot, doing nothing. <laughs> oh, next point also, quickly I take these few points. Uh, tell your family that you are traveling. Yes, there is no hadith, but this is a kind of uh, the good relationship between you and your wife and your, your family. Yani some, some men, subhanAllah, if they travel, they don't tell. Khalas. They will travel without telling the, the wife. And also they come back without telling the wife. Sudden goes and sudden comes, subhanAllah. They don't have any respect for the wife. They don't keep any money for, for the wife. <laughs> if you are traveling, this is your responsibility to keep money, enough money for your family. And it doesn't mean to uh, keep money, they live as, uh, she li lives as a queen, but enough, this is your responsibility. If you cannot, don't travel. If you cannot, don't travel. As simple as that. So inform them, 
Inform them, well, uh, uh, after one week or after one month, I'm traveling to this country. My job cho chose me to mm -hmm. travel. Or my friends will go to Umrah. Or I will go to Da'wah. They tell them, you have to tell them, prepare yourself. Also, she needs to prepare herself. And also, when you come back, subhanAllah. Uh, I know when, uh, from uh, our family. When he travels, خلاص, he doesn't care about the family. And if he wants to keep, he will keep only maybe 20 kd, something like this. يعني, okay. If you have a big family, يعني, for example, 10 members, 20 kd, what, what 20 kd? Every day, يعني, خبز and even you cannot buy parata. Khubuz and without juice or bread and water. No, this is not allowed. This is not allowed. Inshallah, we'll continue next week. Bismillah. Jazakumullah khair. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam.